Thank you for taking time out of your day to be with us. The theme of this year's summit is population health. It's a complex topic, it's multi multifaceted, and we're being called not to just wade in, but to actually jump in, and that we are doing. It is the only way that we can truly achieve our mission of improving the health of the people of our region, and it's essential to achieving two aims of our triple aim, namely better health and lower costs. Over the next two days, you'll hear about the ways that we're approaching population health and about the strategic framework within which it is occurring. And from our very special guest speakers, you're going to hear about ways that others are going about addressing similar challenges or have tried to do so and reconsidered. You'll get updates on our clinical initiatives and the Select Medical Network our data analytics efforts and our work with white cloud analytics and changing payment models and innovative efforts with our partner payers. When you uh, get to your tables, you will see a one page graphic uh, like this. This is our, our strategic plan on one page, essentially. And what, you, what we will be spending time on is actually, let me use this other pointer, is these uh, seven strategic initiatives here. And on your agenda, you'll notice the way it's outlined, there are topic headers that are underlined. Each one of those underlined topics, in turn, relates to one of these seven strategic initiatives. All these areas within St. Luke's overarching strategy of aligning the system, connecting ourselves and our communities, eliminating waste, becoming a national quality leader, expanding patient-centeredness, establishing information-driven decision-making, and creating a clinically integrated network are the key initiatives for our strategy. So I want to thank you for committing the time to actively participate in this program and with our speakers. Now, before I introduce our first speaker, I want to address the elephant in the room. This will be the first and last time during this summit that I will address the lawsuit from this podium. But I feel it is important to acknowledge what has transpired since it's on everybody's mind, uh, in the hopes that then we can focus on our future, because that's what we need to do. While we can debate what the evidence showed or did not show during the trial, the evidence of all of you here today devoting your precious time and the magnitude of investments that St. Luke's has made already in population health and the investments to make today's summit possible is unassailable proof of St. Luke's commitment to accountable care, the triple aim, and our mission to improve the health of the people in our region. It would be a fool's errand for any health system or provider who is set on milking the fee-for-service system to engage in the difficult work that we have engaged in and to make the investments in operating and capital costs necessary to pursue population health that we have made. In fact, population health itself is in direct conflict with the business model of fee-for-service reimbursement. For those of you who may feel disappointed or even dejected about the verdict and the post-trial fallout, understand that it is not the results of this legal wrangling that define us, and it doesn't make any long-term difference for the people that we are privileged to serve. We knew that transforming healthcare would be extremely difficult work that there would be resistance, 
and that it would take time and commitment and resources. Our vindication comes not from winning an appeal, but from ultimately being able to objectively demonstrate the improvement in the health of the people that we serve, the national leading quality and safety of the care that we deliver, and the lower costs that we are already conferring to people and businesses of Idaho through our partnerships with aligned payers and physicians, whether they are employed or independent. So just consider these post-trial outcomes. First, our boards and leadership are more galvanized and more aligned than ever before. Our community has rallied behind us. They understand why it is important for St. Luke's to fix health care, and in large ways and small ways, they have showed their support. We've just completed some consumer research, and this was after the release of the judge's opinion and after all the extensive local press and media coverage. And that survey of more than 7,000 people shows that our favorability re relative to other hospitals in the region has actually increased and by a statistically significant amount relative to our 2012 baseline prior to the trial. The litigation has allowed us to tell our story far more effectively and with much greater attention than we could have otherwise. And we have been able to uh, get our story across and people now understand by a multiple of two that we are a not-for-profit organization, twice the number that before, and they also are able to identify our strategy and they understand that there is indeed a critical difference. On the national scene, Christy and I have received dozens of messages of support and encouragement from the heads of large health systems, from healthcare associations, and from healthcare policy experts. Everyone knows that healthcare is broken, and across the country, our colleagues are rooting for us. And though some may have hoped to slow down our efforts, we are now looking at ways to accelerate our efforts. And though some may have hoped to drive a wedge between us and Salser, the Salser Medical Group is more committed to us than ever before. I know I speak for the vast majority of the St. Luke's family when I say we are committed to the journey to accountable care and, and though it is hard, we will persist. We know that we are doing the right thing, and for now, that must be enough. The fruits of our work and innovations will be realized. Our results will tell the true story. And the people of Idaho will have you to thank for their improved well-being and peace of mind that comes with top quality care and affordability.